Besides the stages, there are some other eye catches in this year's sensation. We have water fountains again, this bag. I really like water with it. It's very organic and kind of sexy. Water screen, of course, the people in white. Eh? Don't, don't, don't forget that. It's uh, all, always the three parts the world, the DJ, the audience. Uh, together, if everything is cool, then you have the best night out. Sander's ideas about the use of water is turned into reality by JMR Waterworld, with whom Sensation has a long-time professional relationship. Together with the creative team of Sensation, they developed a system in which a thin screen of water falls from above. In itself, that's not too special. What is special is the water falling down in the shapes of figures, words, arrows and many more patterns. Like pixels on a computer screen, 10,000 extremely small water drops fall down. Every drop controlled by a computer-operated valve. To accomplish this, high-end techniques needed to be developed that didn't yet exist. With a state-of-the-art CNC cutting machine, the valves are cut from solid blocks of metal with the greatest precision. Every separate valve can open as short as a hundredth of a second, allowing just the tiniest drop of water to fall down. Everything had to be custom-made for Sensation Inner Space. The first test looked promising. But until that moment, the technique they used was so innovative that no one was sure if they would succeed in the goals they had set. In the Amsterdam Arena, they will build a huge reservoir inside the central stage. It can hold tens of thousands of liters of water, and a powerful pump will rotate the water 15 meters up. The show director and his crew will control which patterns will appear during the show. The patterns need to be synchronized with the rest of the show and the music. Not an easy task, but after months of preparation, everything works out fine and the audience witnesses something they have never seen before.